Hello and welcome to this uh, Sprint 2 demo for the Virtual Tribunals project. Um, this week we, we've accomplished several um, major features and made progress on some technical debt uh, that we've accumulated in Spotlight and Spotlight Stanford. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show is um, that we've updated our confirmation email um, information uh, to include more information and context for the recipients of these emails um, so they know what they're getting and what they're, what they're in for when they accept the invitation to join an exhibit as a curator. The second thing is we've improved uh, the experience uh, for curators who are uh, trying to understand indexing status for collections with a large number of items. Um, before, this caused the um, status page to take a really long time to load, sometimes even timing out. Um, there's now an autocomplete widget that curators can uh, take a druid they're, they're curious about um, and will receive information uh, asynchronously um, outside the page load cycle. So this is much faster for curators to figure out of what's going wrong with their exhibit. Uh, some other minor changes um, included uh, updating our masonry gallery and slideshow views to only display titles um, by default, uh, which makes the page look a little better. If the curator is pressed for time, um, they no longer need to think about how to configure these pages uh, to make them appear uh, visually pleasant for their users. Um, and we also change the configuration of mirror door viewers uh, to have the side panel closed by default to clean up some UI garbage um, by doing so. Uh, much of this week was spent working on our IIIF content search spike and prototype. Um, and I hopefully will be able to demonstrate this in uh, the universal viewer demo uh, instance. Um, so here we are in a uh, final decision document, and I want to search for some words in this document. I suspect defendant probably appears prominently um, several times. Um, so, so as you, as you, as you can, can see, uh, I've searched for defendant, and it's come back with a uh, set of search results on various pages that word appears. Um, so I'll start on page three here, and we can see the where defendant has been highlighted everywhere it appears on the page. And I can paginate through them and you know, really, really find out uh, why this document has something to do with that defendants, I suppose. Great. Yeah, unless there's anything else, I think that's the demo.